There's a moth sucking some nectar. Right over there, a beautiful blue tail skink. There you are again. What are y'all doing over there in them bushes? Then suddenly, something jumps out at me. Daisy Mutella Occidental. Okay, I stumbled upon it. Look at this beautiful velvet hemp. Now you notice there was no hesitation in picking this up. Now they have a super hard exoskeleton, so I'm not worried about hurting it. But you also notice this insect hasn't tried to sting me at all. Known to be one of the most painfully stinging insects, the cow killer. I'm pretty grateful for it not wanting to sting, like most people put it off as. The way you handle animals actually goes a long way as far as how animals act. They have feelings too. Even something as simple or small as an ant. Well, in this case, a flightless wasp. But not all velvet ants are flightless wasps. Look at this, same exact species, Daisy Mutella occidentalis, yet it has wings, unlike that female. Because males have wings, they don't have stingers. But could easily be mistaken for other wasp species that have wings that do have stingers. So make sure you know what you're handling when you do. Many of the Pelesis won't be so kind if you try to just grab them like I do. I thought y'all might find it interesting to see a beautiful, healthy male velvet in. Not very common, you don't see them that often. So when one just jumps in front of me on my path, I go ahead and take a video and I share it with y'all. I'm sorry y'all haven't seen me around much in the last couple weeks. I just figured I'd have to get something out to y'all so y'all know I didn't just fall off the face of the earth. But I've been working on a really big project, one that I would say is taking a lifetime to develop. But I can't tell you too many details just yet. If you would, give me a like to support wildlife conservation. And I promise I'm working really hard on this project and I can't wait to get it out to y'all. Thank you.